In this tutorial for iClone 5, 6 or 7, I'm going to show you how to create a cartoon. You are going to create your scene or load a project that you already have. And once you do that, you're going to go to the visual tab. Wait, no, you're going to go to the content tab and you're going to go to the fourth icon, which is the atmosphere icon. And whatever you have it, you're going to have to look for the uh, Toon Shader template, okay, which will contain those three atmospheres that's under the atmosphere tab okay or icon and then you can choose whatever one you you like i usually choose the third one but you can work with whatever so if you apply the first one per se that's the kind of look you're gonna get for it uh, of course you need to work on that to make it a little to make it look a little bit better uh it's not like okay i have it like that and it stays like that no you still need to modify it uh if we go for the second one that's the kind of look you have you know i like uh like this is a daylight so i like the kind of look in which it's kind of bright and uh i'm gonna look for whatever it looks best especially because it's daylight but you can modify everything like i said before i'm not gonna be able to show you everything for each one of them because then I would need to do a tutorial for each one of them separately because it's 15 minutes. So we're gonna go, I'm going to go for the third one, which is the one that I use and the one I like. And once I uh, chose whatever option I wanted, then I'm going to go to the visual tab. And we're going to move to the third icon, which is the, the Toon Shader icon. And we're going to play with these uh, sliders the first one which is the edge width is how thick is going to be the edge of the contour of the figures that are in the scene so you can increase the edge as you can see it changes or decrease it usually try to have uh, an edge that is not too thick and the reason why is because you are doing a, a wide shot a wide shot is a far far shot in which you have more of the visual part of the scene and uh, as you can see if you have a thick width it's going to pretty much lose the details of whatever you have on your scene so try not to have a very thick edge and then you play with the edge intensity i'm, I'm gonna do a far shot or a white shot and i'm gonna play with the intensity i'm gonna lower the intensity so that i can pretty much kind of see the face of the avatar which is what I want to focus on and then I'm gonna get closer to it and it looks really good and okay so this is the first step and you can also play with these bars over here um, let me see uh, if we go down to uh, okay you play with a normal threshold and as you can see it makes it a little bit uh, lighter or darker one of the things is that if you go to the scene tab okay and you have your lights you're gonna see that you only have one light if even if you created a project and you put a lot of lights they are all going to disappear so don't even bother about that okay because once you apply the tune shader they are all gonna be gone and you're going to play with these two ones over here. If it's like a night scene, you want to change that into something like it's a, a cold color, which is the blue or a white. Uh, those are cold colors. And uh, you apply that, you see it looks more like, like a night time uh, scene. But this is a daylight scene. So you can even make it a little bit, you know, like uh, yellow. So we're going to choose something like that and it's a little bit brighter and you can also play with that and you can move the bars right here uh, these little two uh, uh, triangles or arrows whatever you want to call them and you can uh, modify uh, the kind of look you know that you have on the scene as well but it depends on, on whatever colors you have here you know whatever you chose uh, personally I'm just gonna, not going to play with the colors that much really but what I want to show you to give it a little bit more of a tunish finish and a 2D, you know, uh, kind of look to the scene 
you're going to select whatever figure you want to play with uh, or object. In this case, I'm going to play with the avatar. So I'm going to go to the uh, right panel and I'm going to go to the third icon, which is the material icon. And I'm going to choose the face of the avatar. We're, not, we're going to change that. So we choose the face with the eyedropper and then just click on the face. You go down. The face is selected. Keep going down. Make sure this is a gray color because if you don't have a gray color, well, actually it's not for this one, but anyways, I just wanted to mention that. Uh, this, the ambient color, uh, it will help you, you know, to um, whatever lights are focusing on the scene, uh, they are going to be, um, they're not going to give you a variation in colors uh, regarding to whatever objects of the scene you have whether they are avatars or props or something else anyways but it, this is not important here uh, once you choose uh, the skin of the avatar in this case you're gonna go to the self illumination and you're gonna increase the value all the way up and you see that the face changes you see it starts losing that kind of brightness that it used to have which would be the reflection of the light on the skin of the avatar and we're going to get uh, closer to the avatar right here and we're going to increase the self illumination and it starts losing that okay uh, you can lower the specular and the glossiness if you want it doesn't really matter and you're going to do the same for the body so select that you go down and you increase the body of uh, the self illumination of the body you lower the specular and the glossiness and you do the same thing for everything else uh let's uh, choose this one this prop right here which is a house and we're gonna do the same thing to that prop but we're gonna see how many parts uh, compose this prop which is just one part and that's really good because if you had more than one map mm -hmm. Then you're going to have to choose each map and you're going to have to do the same for each map okay and make sure that well it, it's just a tendency that i have you know it's like a computer program uh, since i was a computer programmer many many years ago uh i'm not a computer programmer anymore but we have to create a tendency to save programs and things like that so i created that tendency as well to make sure the ambient color is gray uh, in case for lights, you know, that you place on the scene. Anyways, we're going to increase the self illumination as well for this one. Okay. And uh, the opacity and the specular are, you know, at uh, zero. Okay. So we have that. And uh, you just keep on playing with that you also go to the visual tab and you go to the icon of the effects which is the fourth icon left to right on the right on the left panel and uh, if you click on that you're going to have all these things uh, one of the things uh, i can also mention you have one effect that is called npr which is this one and the NPR will give you an edge. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You see, I apply the NPR. Let me uh, go back one step. There you go. And I'm going to select the avatar so that I don't move around. I'm going to select the NPR again. We're going to see the changes. Look at the kind of edge. We have um, the contour of the avatar and the objects and if I apply the NPR effect, it's going to give me that edge again, you know, like a, a little bit thicker. Uh, it's not what I wanted to show you really, but I want to I wanna let you know that you can do that. You can also, that the NPR effect will help you, even if you don't have a 2D project, this is a 2D now, it's not a 3D, but even if you have a, a, a 3D, uh, 3D project, and you apply the NPR, it will help you give a very thin line in the contour of the avatars and the objects, which is really good. If you know how to use it and you just uh, play with this, you know, the thickness, this will give you more um, control over the thickness or the width, you know, of the line that it's around the 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 object whether it's an avatar or a prop it will give you more control over that kind of line so i use the npr at times when i have a 
3D scene. This is a 2D scene, but I use it. And if you want to use it in this scene as well, you can use it, you know, and you can play with that as well. Okay, if, if I lower that, then it's going to be unsaturated in regards to color, but you can play with that, you know, and let's go a little bit far away. And as you can see, I think it looks good, you know, but you need to play with this. I'm just going to show you the tools that you can use to give it a, a tunish uh, finish to your project okay uh, to the uh, finish and kind of tunish as well and you can apply other effects so let me go here maybe okay film style lut we can use the luts if i apply that you see what it does and then you can play with the, whatever range you know you want to to have on the scene uh so those are tools that you can use this is cyclone 7 you can do that in cyclone 5 and 6 and 7 but you have to remember that if you have cyclone 5 you won't have these uh, these features okay to be able to apply other things uh that's the only thing okay so just keep that in mind. Uh, in Icon 6, you, you do have some features, not all of them. This Icon 7, you'll have many more features, which is really cool, cool. And it's really nice because you can make your projects look even better. And even the rendering, uh, the final render for the projects will be even better. So I just want to let you know real quick, that's the way you do a tune, um, a video or a tune project, or and that's a 2D as well because this is this is 2d it's not a 3d and it'll help you you know with whatever because you can also have something that is tunish uh like the cta crazy talk and if you don't have the packages it's going to be hard you know for you uh to be dressing the avatars and to be changing probably the skin color of the avatar and the physical features of the avatars and the heights and things like that you have to create your own in a cta which is a 2d animation program uh, that comes from revolution as well but if you know how to do this if you start working like i said you know i'm not going to go into details i just want to show you the tools that you can use to give a 2D uh, look and cartoonish look. Probably, if you're looking at this, probably you're saying, oh, it doesn't look really good, you know, because I don't like how it looks, uh, the lines and things like that. Like I said, you know, I'm not gonna refine this project really, <clears throat> but there's some people who have worked on this and who like to do cartoons and they do a really nice videos that look actually car like cartoons when they are actually not cartoons, they are 3D objects on the scene and they are just applying all these effects and they end up with a really excellent and nice cartoon i've seen some of them that are really mm, close to perfect i would say you know um so just uh, play around with all these uh, features that you have and um, play with a visual tab the visual tab remember that is something that you see on the scene so it's going to alter or modify whatever is on the scene make sure you play with the visual tab you see like if i apply that uh the ambient occlusion uh you'll have that in icon 6 i don't know i can't remember if icon 5 includes that but if it does you know just apply it but i know that icon 6 and icon 7 has it and icon 7 has a little bit more uh, options okay like if you see i apply that and then if i start playing with that as well you see i i give it a even a more tunish look so it's like i said you know if you have icon 7 you have more options if you have icon 6 you'll have some of these options they are not going to be as as well or as uh, excellent as icon 7 but uh, you can still work with that and have something that looks really really nice so just play with that and whatever questions you have and if i can do a tutorial uh, i'll be you know doing that tutorial for you thank you and i hope this helps you